you two things. I'm going to show you how to um, add a background image and also how to center an image. All right, because uh, some of you kind of forget that. So let, let's center our image first. And I do have some images. You should have this folder, but we got a couple of images in this folder here. So let's come in and add an image. So let's do open caret, and I'll say IMG for image, space, SRC. And this should be a review. All right. So I'm going to say image source is equal to, and then let's go into that images folder because I have to call in that it's in a folder. Now, if yours is outside of the folder, you don't have to do this. And let's just get Leslie here. And let's just close that carrot here. All right. Now, I also like to give my images a class. All right. And I'll say class, and I'll just say uh, me. All right. So we, we have that. Well, actually, I already called it that. So we'll just say pick. All right. Um, so let's set that up now remember you can also put in a width parameter you don't you you can do that here so I could say width and I could say yo know, this is a 400 pixel image there but I could also do it in the CSS so you can choose whether you want to do it here or you want to do it in the CSS so let's just say dot pick because it's a class and if I wanted to give it a width here, I could say width 400 pixels, and that's good, but that's overkill because I already did it in the HTML, but either or is fine. It doesn't really matter. But in order to center an image, remember, if you want to center anything, it's margin zero auto, all right? But if I hit save here, Remember, it doesn't work, and this is the the problem y'all y'all tend to have. Is remember that an image is an inline element. So what that means is, if I have five images in my HTML, they're going to stack up side by side automatically. So it's almost like they float by themselves. Um, so what I have to do in order for it to listen to my margin zero auto to center is I have to change this from an inline element to a block level element so what that means is like block is stacked just like when we do the box model everything just stacks when we do h1s they all stack so we have to do the same thing here so in order to do this we're gonna say display and we write block and now I sh my image should be centered and I should be good to go so that is simply a simple way of how to actually center an image. So whenever you want to center an image, just go ahead and do um, margin zero auto and then display block. All right. So let me show you how you can add a background image. Now, a background image is for a background. Now, you can do it inside a div. I could do it inside the header, wherever I actually want that background image to show up but most of you want it to show up like all in your body so that's where we're gonna do it like if you want it to show everywhere here then we're gonna do it in the body and I'll just do the logo and this is gonna repeat but the thing about adding a background image is you can't size it in the HTML like we did whenever you want a background image if you need it resized, you have to do it in Photoshop. Um, it's just the way that it goes. And you also need to make sure that your image is big. So something like 2000 by 2000 uh, should be sufficient um, there. So in order to get this to show up in my whole body, what do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to go right in here to the body tag. And I'm going to say background image all right and what we're looking for is a URL and you'll see that it's found right there and now you just call in the name of your image so I know my image is in the images folder so I'm gonna say images and then I'm gonna say slash and I'm just gonna use the logo that's cool for for what I'm doing now um, nothing spectacular and let's not forget our semicolon I'm gonna hit save 
and now if I live preview that you'll see that it is now everywhere and the reason it's repeating is because that's what a background image is gonna do because it's not big enough alright so if you want your image to be big enough go ahead and resize it in Photoshop and make sure that you're using a big image to um, to begin with um, that's something close to like 2000 by 2000 should be good for your project but that is how you add center your image and that is how you add a background image